Hello everyone, SMA Watts here. We are about to play some Pauper Classic Tuesdays. Oh, we're playing against Gons. Yeah, hello and good luck. And we are playing a bit of a brew. Playing a Domain Zoo deck. And I don't think this is keepable. We, yeah, we're going to mulligan. This is marginally better. <clears throat> I don't think we're particularly good against Hexproof, though. Alright, so... Play Wild Nacatl. Hopefully they're playing just G1... Uh, yeah, I think it's called G1, the one casting cost mono green deck. Uh, Ledge Walker is also hexproof. Yeah, not going to trade there. Swing in with the Nakatl. Grab ourselves a planes. <clears throat> and we'll say done. Yeah, right core. And the bone splitter. Going all in on that ledge walker, huh? Okay. Attack with the Nakatl. You're going to crack this for a mountain right now. <laughs> I should say for our mountain. Maybe I should have left the Nakatl back. And we're going to play the Sky Fisher. And we're going to have to pick up something. I think I pick up the forest. Flying haste echo. Okay. Another bone splitter. All right, let's trade. We take a good amount of damage, actually. More than I really wanted to. Go to six. But I think we might be able to stabilize here. All right, well, we got I have to take two to play this. <clears throat> Though once he plays the echo, I'm going to just bolt it. Dang. Hmm.
by the Squadron Hawk. We'll grab ourselves the rest of our Squadron Hawks. And we're done. That's fine. Okay. Okay. If he would like to threaten I should protect the squadron hawk there. And I think our best plan is to cast this for full cost. <clears throat> Now I'm less worried about him ripping like a giant growth because I can just double block and he'd have to be able to make it a six toughness and I do, or seven toughness. I don't think there's anything that does that with one card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. All right. So we are playing against Mono Green. Um, what becomes bad against them? I think I want to bring in Stagger Shock because it's value against him. And I think I want to take out maybe Unearth. Uh, I actually need a... F He's doing Hexproof. Should I bring in Electricery? Actually, Electricery killed almost everything it had, didn't it? So we're going to cut the Lightning Bolts for Electricaries. Actually, we'll cut... Yeah, we'll do that. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> uh, this seems reasonable. Oh, um... Don't stop my opponent's turn. Volt Scourge. Right, I think I have to get ready to bolt the Volt Scourge because I don't think I can race a Volt Scourge. Hopefully he doesn't just go Rancor, Rancor. Yeah, one Rancor. All right, this is a much more standard, stompy style beginning. Um, I think I need to get the planes, actually. And... Yeah, I think I have to play the Nylea's Presence. Which makes me sad, because I'm going to take a beating this turn. Uh, 
Alright. Never a fan of that land. Maybe I should have brought in the the, mis the uh, missionaries. Young wolf. All right, so tap for red. Did I play land this turn? Yes. So I think I just play Skyfisher, Bounce Island, say done. We're going to take three. He's going to gain three more. And hopefully we'll be able to kill Rancor on the way down. Yep. That's fine. He was far more dangerous. As much as I would have liked to get past that. Alright, so... <clears throat> Play out the Nakato. Yep. He has to burn a trick to kill me. Like, if he has a trick, he can just kill me if I only single block. He has to burn a trick to double block, and then still... I don't think he kills me. And he still doesn't kill both. He has to burn a trick to kill both, and... That was unexpected. Why would you leave that in against me? Huh? That was good there. Rancor it. Choosing not. Hmm. Awkward. Should have not leave his presence to this. All right, let's go ahead and play the wild Nakatl. And the Squadron Hawk. And we'll block the, when he bone splitters, the 1-1. One, one. Yes, I would like to use the ability. When he bone splitters the 1-1, one, one, we uh, block with the Squadron Honk. Oh, 
Or we get Hornet Stung. It's level 4 for 1. <laughs> but now I'm a little more like, oh, yeah, we're in, we are not in good shape. Alright, now it's going to do 3 to us. Gives him his Rancor back, which is annoying that I just haven't. Uh. Alright, so he's all in on that guy. We're going to brainstorm. Um, we are going to put I think we're just going to be drawing them again because I didn't draw a shuffle spell so let's go ahead and put Nylea's Presence and Abundant Growth on top play a mountain uh, I, can't, I don't have enough mana to do two things so, since our opponent went all in like that, like if he bone splitted this guy, Should have burned them both out that turn. Yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that I actually had the mana. Oh, Tribal Flames is a sorcery. Yeah, I lost because I didn't realize Tribal Flames is a sorcery. It's the first time I've actually ever played with Domain. All right, well, I think I'm bringing in the Lone Missionaries and taking out um, the Pride Mage. Uh, Pride Mage blows up some stuff. I'm actually not sure what to take out for the... Maybe the Skyfishers? Doesn't have a lot of flyers. Uh, yes, I'd like to play it first. No. So this is a reasonable hand. We have uh, turn one, abundant growth. So we are mana fixed. Boy, are we mana fixed. We could technically turn two, abundant growth, my... Uh, Evolving Wilds. No one drop from him. So let's go ahead and grab... Um, I mean, it's not terribly relevant, so let's grab a Plains, as it's reasonable for the Nakatl. All right. You know, double squadron hawk hands are always a little awkward. Ledge Walker. Mm hmm. I think I am a little sad that I can't do what I want to do. So I think I'm going to say done and hope he tries to rank core his uh, ledge walker.
or even better play out and make another 1-1. One, one. See, that's good. Now Rancor, one of them. Well, let's see if I get blown out here. It's reasonable. Like, I haven't seen a real giant growth effect. Another ledge walker. Now let's see if I can draw a land. No dice. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the one. Bit skulk. Glade cover scout. Red. Bolt you. Finds it. That's fine. Well, while you're tapped out. I know why he has the, uh, wow. Yeah, that took me a moment, but I know why he's, so. I think I play the Pride Mage to play around uh, Hornet Sting. All right, let's trade and take two. All right, let's get ourselves our remaining squadron hawks. Our opponent should probably realize we have a squadron hawk in hand now. We'll trade squadron hawk for vault scourge. Or it'll get stung. Um, that's fine. Young Wolf, Young Wolf. I'm guessing he has Hunger of the Howl Pack in his hand. I forgot to crack that to get a land. That's annoying. Um, white, green, Pride Mage. Attack for two in the air. Bone Splitter.
Hmm. Don't split that. Interesting choice. Okay, so block that. Crack that. Um, find a mountain. Not that it's terribly relevant. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Don't have any more. Um, hmm. Could Tribal Flames, his remaining... Yeah, I think that's the right call. There, now we threaten to be able to at least trade his entire team. Like, he does not have a favorable attack here. But in anyways, okay. Block, block, block. Trades his entire board for no damage, but he does get to kill. He'd got to use his Hornet Sting. All right. Um... And now we play out a Porcelain Legionnaire. And we play another Porcelain Legionnaire. Brainstorm's less useful here since I don't, uh, there's nothing I need at the moment and I don't have a shuffle. A draw shuffle mechanic. All right. All right. So if he has Rancor. I can be in serious trouble. Should I just... Hmm. I think I brainstorm here. And I can just... Oh wait, I do have a shuffle mechanic. Derp. I have Squadron Hawk. Um, put back Squadron Hawk. Squadron Hawk, play Evolving Wilds, crack Evolving Wilds, find an island. Oh. 
Um, Oh, well, I drew kind of the worst thing to draw. Like, actually, said not the worst thing to draw. The worst thing to draw would have been a forest. In fact, I should have put... I don't know why I didn't put the lands back. That was a mistake. I meant to get green there. Well, that's actually a pretty reasonable play. I am risking potentially losing to fog. Okay, no, I'm not. And Delman. And this is a very interesting deck I'm playing. Like, I hadn't actually gotten much chance to play it. I think I kind of enjoy it. I uh, hope you'll join me for the next round.